Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. We go now to the Business Review, where our reporter, Kelisha Williams, highlights some investment options right here in Jamaica. This week, the Business Review looks at investments and the areas people like you can target for your money to grow. The issue was discussed at a recent VM Wealth Management's Wealth Talk series. The Victoria Mutual Group President and CEO, Courtney Campbell. If you do the research and the reading and study all economies across time and across uh, geographies, the two best asset classes for building wealth are what? Real estate and, and stocks. The two asset classes, the source of discussions. In Jamaica's current economic climate in which lending to the government is no longer an attractive option. The reason IMF led economic reforms over the past six years. It's the best economic conditions that we have had um, in terms of interest rates, inflation, NIR. It's a really great coming together of all the key economic indicators. Um, and the debt to, debt to GDP declining. Because of that, it has actually facilitated great growth in the stock market. Its performance has been well documented, and it's no fluke, given that it has been sustained over the last five years. According to respected business media entity Bloomberg, it shows no signs of losing steam. We don't believe that participation in the stock exchange is, is sufficiently broad-based. And that's why we have invited you here this evening. Many of you are already participating in the stock market. You already own shares. But you could be doing so much more. And you could be benefiting so much more. And we want you to, to, to have that benefit. Investing in stocks is as easy as going into any brokerage house and opening an account, just like you would open a savings account. But as Mr. Campbell indicated, stocks aren't the only good investments. Real estates are performing good as well. And investing in it doesn't take a lot. You don't have to own real estate in a direct way to benefit from the performance of the real estate market. You can buy our property fund that's yielding 7%, 8% in Jamaican dollars, you know, last year. So, you know, you can do that with $100,000 or even less. You don't have to spend $50 million to buy real estate. And that's the business review for this week. I'm Kelisha Williams. Good evening. And the primetime news package continues with sports right after this break.